Hello there, everybody. It's me, your Star Wars dad, and you're not looking at my shining face today because I am talking to another content creator, Darth Kimchi, who uh, does not show his beautiful mug on his videos, so I thought we'd both go mugless today. So, Darth Kimchi, how's it going, buddy? What's going on, Sith friends? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing very, very well. Yeah, I think it's great to talk to someone else from the Star Wars Galaxy Heroes community. Uh, I think it's awesome. That is awesome, dude. And I know that... Uh, um, for me, our, I was connected to you. I was told to get with you by my buddy Jamie Dean, who is also what is his name on Discord? Excellent. Uh, you. Your friends with Jamie Dean. That's awesome. Yeah, he's been really helping out the channel lately, actually. And I know he's running a contest. I think he's running a contest on your channel too, right now, right? He's an awesome guy. He's my brother from another mother. Oh wow, you guys. So you guys are are. <laughs> I'm just getting to know him, but we're having a lot of fun, and, and uh, yeah, he's been great. So he's he told me I should hook up with you, and I know I've been on your Discord for a little while, and I've seen some of your stuff, so I figured it'd be a good time to get together and talk. And um, yeah. A couple of things. Um, so let's start off with just why don't you tell tell my folks a little bit about your channel, what's going on, and then we can, uh, we can have a little discussion from there. Uh, of course. So... I love playing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It's a great game. I've been playing for, oh my goodness, five to six years. So my whole come up was, when I was coming up in the game, you know, years ago, there was not much help in the game. You know what I mean? I was lost. So I try to help the newer player, the mid-level player, just kind of avoid the walls that I hit. and Because I know exactly what they're going to go through. You know, I'm all about respecting the grind. You know, anyone that goes through the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes grind is a friend to me. So I just love to have fun. I do a lot of roster appreciations, roster reviews. So I just love playing the game, and anyone else that does as well. That's awesome, dude. So five, six years ago you started. Let me ask you if you were like me, because I started back at the very beginning, um, and I don't have that account anymore. I'm playing on other accounts now. But, you know, I wandered for about a year before I found uh, a decent guild and and learned that maybe I sh at the time I should focus on, focus on squad arena. But... I wasn't farming anything, and how, how was your initial journey in the game? Oh my gosh, the Sith bump, same way. So I was just, come on, I, I farmed Mace Windu, was my first <laughs> seven-star character. Everyone in this comment section that's on this video, comment below, who's your first seven-star tune? Mine was Mace Windu. You know, I was thinking, hey, he, he's got to be great. He's great in Star Wars, but he was terrible in the game. You know, now he's great with that new rework to his kit. I was lost as well. And then, of course, we all know Arnold, T101. When I met him, I think it got even worse. Like, everything that he was farming, I would try to go achieve it, like, the next day. You know, I love Arnold. He's great. He's what made me start my channel. But I was lost as well. And there's not too much help out there. You know, in the Reddit world, if you say the wrong thing, you can get attacked. It's hard to find good people. So that's what my community, like, my Discord community, you know, we're all about positivity, just helping each other grow in the game. Yeah, it's the same over with me. And, you know, I, I cover some other Star Wars games as well, primarily LEGO Star Wars Battles. But, you know, I, I, I really focus on the community, too. It's it's we're trying to build something fun here. And, um, you know, I don't want to come on down anybody, but we, but we just don't need all the uh, – toxicity can go away. It's it's fun to have fun with each other, and and you can you can give somebody a hard time. But um, you don't need to come on, come on and, you know, call somebody names or, or just do nasty stuff on there. So I'm – I'm 100% with you there. Mm -hmm, exactly. So let me ask you this. So so you, we were just talking beforehand, and I've got, I've got a couple of questions for you. I'm about to finish my Sith Eternal Rush account, where I opened an account eight months ago, and I'm just, I'm I'm literally maybe a week away from starting to farm, um, to uh, to farm tickets for, for Sith Eternal. But you said you're going through the same thing right now. Oh my goodness, yes. Newt, what's your ally code? What is my ally? I'll look it up. Well, you go ahead and talk, and I'll give it to you in a minute. So, uh, well, oh, sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> the, the question was, how, how's your Sith Eternal farm looking? Oh, my goodness. So, that's the hardest thing in the game is a Galactic Legend grind. You know, I started, I didn't want to build any Galactic Legend. So, right now, Nooch, I only have one Galactic Legend. I'm in Kyber 3, and it's Jedi Master Kenobi, and he's not very good without Cat. So I, I was beating Galactic Legends before the nerf of Vader, you know, the nerf of the gas, fives, Chewie. I could take out SOKR. 
So I had to start building Galactic Legends. And Jedi Master Kenobi by himself was just the nastiest grind because he did require R8 tunes. I think Sith Eternal was, is not too bad because I've had a lot of those tunes built up. The gear's not too bad. But, of course, we all know farming for gear shards, uh, you know, gear pieces, tune shards, all the cantina. When I do roster reviews, that's what I see is just pain, time, all that cantina. And then as you were saying, like with the um, – the scavenger materials, like the show you did about the, chrom the chromium transistor, like that's gold. Like that stuff is very important. Yeah, so the, it's the grind. We all know it. We all hate the grind, but that's why I tell people all the time. My, my saying is to keep on sipping because it's the grind. We all got to go through it, but it's terrible, but it's getting there. How's yours? You know, it's 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 uh, it's the same thing. You know, every account is a grind, but I I think we we could say we hate it, but you know, we probably love it at the end of the day, you know. Um, for me, it's those, it's, you're able to, I, the thing that I really enjoy about the game is, well, there's, there's a lot of stuff, but the, the top three things would be um, the community, first of all. You know, you, you develop, and, and I know that AP talks about this a lot. You know, he, he talks about how he hates the game, he loves the community. I, I'm not there, I, I still love the game, but, um, yeah, you know, just the fact that you're in your guild and you're in discord with your guild and you're working through strategies for territory battles and territory wars, you're doing stuff together. That is meaningful to me. Um, yeah. but I think that, um, I think that the ability to shut, to set short and long-term goals is a lot of fun in a game. You know, it's like, Hey, I can, yeah. I can like my short-term goal right now on, on my Sith Eternal account is to get Sith Eternal. But a few months ago, that was a long-term goal, and I was making short-term goals like, man, if I can get Piet to gear 12, I can do the, you know. So you can yeah. have little short-term goals along the way toward a long-term goal. And, yeah, the farming can be painful. You know, you, you run five you run five turns, turns on a node, and you get nothing or whatever on, <laughs> on maybe a couple days in a row, and you just want to throw your phone against the wall. But, um, you know, exactly. I, it, yeah, at the end of the day, it's so much fun to have those goals short and long-term and to, to – I always like the IP too. I like to have a Star Wars theme out there, a Lord of the Rings, something I, I really like. I like to have on the other mm -hmm. end of things. Totally, totally agree. Yeah, you're totally correct on that for sure. Oh yes. Hey, let me give you my ally code. It's uh, for anybody <laughs> out there that's interested. It's five six one six five six three two seven. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, anybody wants to send a friend request? If I got spots, I'm always accept it. Um, and I do, I do clear out like higher level accounts from time to time, mm -hmm. just because they don't need the ally. You know, people that need the ally code are the new players. You know, you need those. those oh yeah. You know, you need those bruisers on your roster. Um, like my son just started picking up the game, and he's playing, and he needed ally codes, and you can get ally codes from my Discord as well. So me looking at your account, Star Wars Dad, I love that name. So it's, I always want people. That's like question number one that I want people to tell me when I uh, appreciate their rosters. Explain your in-game name. So explain that to me. Well, so Star Wars Dad started up. It was a little. It was about a year ago, almost exactly a year ago. My channel was called Nooch Mobile, and you know I go by Nooch. You know Nooch too good. If anybody's familiar with that, and um, yeah. you know the channel was called Nooch Mobile up until that point, and it just I was like, man, it just isn't quite fitting. And I talked to a buddy of mine, Dylar, who's another who was another content creator in the game, and and a couple other folks, some of my couple of my mods and. I'm like, what about this, you know, what about this name, that name? And I said, what about Star Wars, Dad? And for me, I'm a, I'm a 50 year old guy. You know, I talk about my kids and my family all the time, and it and I make dumb dad jokes, and you know, mm -hmm. um, we got all sorts of gags on the channel with me being old. So it really fit, and it kind of stuck. So that's when I changed the name of the channel to Star Wars, Dad. And then this mm -hmm. account that I was farming, I originally farmed Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. It became Star Wars, Dad too. I, I, I do see that, man. That's a great story, man. I just, yeah, Sith bump to you, Nooch. <laughs> I see you're with House of Ren. So everyone that's in your guild, you Sith bump. That's a good it's a good sounding name. I, I see you're in a Rhodium 3. Uh, you know, me just looking at your account because I do so many reviews. I've done, oh my gosh, so many of them. So yes, you. to me, I think it's fantastic you got SLKR because I'm going to create a second account with excellence, Jamie Dean. We're going to do it together. We're going to create a second account. That's who I'm going to go for because... At my level, what I preach, you've got to have an answer for the executor. Like my great buddy Nemesis is, is want me to do a video on fleet. Maybe we could do it together one day and include my buddy Nemesis. You gotta have an answer for finalizer and you have or excuse me, for executor and you have it. So that's great. SLKR is amazing. You already got one Galactic Legend, you're gonna get two. 
Yeah, the grind is now because of Star, you know, how Star Wars Galaxy Heroes changed it. It's all about the Galactic Legend. It really is, and you've got to have those core teams too, you know, and, and that's the I went for the Galactic Legend first and the core teams second. There's different ways to do it, and, and they're all going to be fun. So that leads me into another question for you, and I just, mm. I just unlocked a Hyperdrive Bundle account last night. I did a stream yesterday. Um, I accidentally exposed my email address on it, so I'm actually editing that stream while we talk, so it's not available at the moment, but... Let me let me ask you. I've got some ideas what I think I'm going to do with that account. But what have you ever had a hyperdrive account and or seen them? And what do you think my my farming uh, path should be? So of course I, I see you got it. So of course me looking through your roster is someone who reviews. So number one great thing you have SOPR. So I always put my opponent's rosters after that is in the order of speed. So to me I know know you know speed is the way of the game. You know. That's what separates you from your opponent. You know, everyone builds the same thing. So what makes you different? To me, it's your mods. That's how I've gotten to K2. I had like 4.5 million GP. I only have one Galactic Legend. I've never used Je Jedi Master Kenobi on offense. He's a defensive chess piece. So to me, it's, it's my speed. You know, I have like 16 tunes over 300 speed. I have the great core teams. So that to me, you got SPR, great. You're going for his Eternal. That's fantastic. So to me, is you got to complete your squads. Like right now, I would highly recommend like Wampa's Omicron. I see you have him. Where was he at? Wampa. Yes. Because Wampa has to be accounted for on defense. So Wampa to me is a must-have tune. Let me look through. You've got the Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron. That's a must-have. Okay, let me go look through. Now, let me back Mary you up. Jane. I'm going to back you up one minute, Kimchi, because uh -huh. these are separate accounts. My my Sith Eternal account is a completely different account, and my Hyperdrive account is a new account that I just started. You don't have that Alico, do you? <laughs> I do, but I gotta look it up again. If you, <laughs> we're doing roster reviews, baby. Kimchi's reviewing reviewing my rosters. <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'll give you the um uh, the uh, the new Hyperdrive bundle account, but it's it's literally it's on day two. You know, I, I just unlocked it last night, and I've never uh, seen one. I'm good to see it. Yeah, it's got, I'm getting it in a second here. Um, actually, I gave it away on my stream last night, but I, I don't have it available. Boy, my phone's running slow. So, But have you ever done a hyperdrive bundle or worked with folks on a hyperdrive no. bundle? I, I want to. So, of course, I, I don't have the money to, to buy for the hyperdrive bundle. So what is that? It, it unlocks all, everyone at 85, right? It unlocks uh, 60 characters at level 80 and 5 stars. And oh I'm gonna, I'll give you the ally code here in a second. You can take a look and give us your review right away, even though it's just brand new. But you ready? Yes. It's 912-322-845. And while you're looking that up, um, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to agree with you on the speed. I, you know, The one thing about this hyperdrive bundle, they don't give you any mods. So I'm investing all six refreshes on mods every day. And I'm gonna unlock. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna unlock the uh, you know the mod upgrades, the mod slicer stuff. Yeah. But I've got to get my mods up and running because I'm gonna be in Grand Arena um, come whatever Sunday, Monday, whatever it is. I gotta put okay. some speed on some of these guys. I'm gonna be at 700,000 galactic power with no speed on anybody. You know. Of course. So yeah, I see it now, man. It's great to see like a hyperdrive bundles. This is day two of a hyperdrive. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, this is amazing to see. So you know how much time this has saved. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so right off the bat, so you, you're you're gonna so your long term is the Sith Eternal. You're gonna you're gonna rush that? No, no, no. I'm doing. Sith, yeah, I know. I'm just, Sith Eternal is a complete is a third account that I'm almost done on. What I'm what oh. I'm thinking on this, and and let, let me tell you what I'm what I'm thinking because what I want to do is I'm first of all I'm gonna get KRU done. I'm going to finish him and finish his ship because mm -hmm. it's so important mm -hmm. in, in Fleet Arena. I can climb to the top of that right away. And then Darth Vader is yeah. going to be there right behind him because they're just natural. But then what mm -hmm. I want to do is I want to put together a, a, an Imperial Trooper team, a CLS team, an Empire team. And then I want to yeah. go after Executor because you need those bounty hunters early on. And if I'm building Empire and bounty hunters, well then, and, and they can go get me Chewbacca, which will be on my CLS team. Why not go for Executor after that? So you're going to do executor over a Galactic Legend? That's what I'm thinking. What what I'm looking at doing is is that classic uh, early Grand Arena. You know, let's get let's get CLS up. Let's go get the Revens. 
Um, let's have yeah. our troopers for offense. Let's do that stuff early on. And while I'm doing that, I can be doing executor as well. Yeah, that's a that's a good look at it. So I've always preached uh, for new players, Jedi Knight Revan and Padme. That's your left leg and your right leg. You can't get Malik without Jedi Knight Revan. You can't get Gas without Padme. So that's your left leg and your right leg. So if I was going to redo my count, that'd be my first path. I'd get Jedi Knight Revan and a Padme squad. Then, of course, you're right, Darth Vader. As soon as you open up Grand Arena, Darth Vader is going to be soloing. People may have bugs. So Vader by himself is a squad. You know what I mean? I would get him maybe with a Tarkin lead if he needed to for some speed. I see you have Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon is amazing at three or four stars to take away everyone's turn meter. Um, to, but to go for executor, that's a that's a good, that's a different kind of search. Um, or not the search, but because right now fleet has not affected me. Like I'm in Kyber three, and you know high end Kyber three K K two fleet may affect me, but I have always been able to block to where fleets never mattered. Right. Going for executor first. Uh, I don't know. That'd be yes. I agree. You're gonna get bounty hunters. A bounty hunter squad is a must have, especially or a sing lead. I mean, bounty hunters take out Darth Revan squad. With only like a relic boss, you know, that's a that's a good that's a good thing to try. I mean, executor. Let me go see. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, Here's, a, let me. I'll tell you what I'm thinking is if we can get into Grand Arena and I can put executor back there in defense, yeah, then I can just yeah. let them have that front top territory and I can defend hard mm -hmm. on the bottom. Exactly. Yeah, I totally agree with that too. You know, that's what it comes down to. Is like I, I've always had to go super, super heavy on. Like I probably had the heaviest defense you've ever seen in Grand Arena for not. You know what I mean? Because I have to block because of Executor. So if you did have that first, I mean, you could literally just put. I don't want to say just all garbage on the on the wall, but you could put you know just okay B teams, C teams, and you could just save everything for offense. Right. And that's the problem I've always had through Grand Arena is because I had to go super heavy. Um. Yeah, that, that'd be a good one. You know, if I started over, I would look into that. So I would build Sith Eternal or SLKR first because they're they're easier Galactic Legends that require the R eights, and then I would build Executor next if I started over. So that's a good way. You know, you should do that. You know, you just open the hyper drive. I'm gonna start a new account pretty soon. I'll see how much quicker yours is because you have the hyper drive and I don't. So you're gonna be ahead. I mean, that hyper drive bundle puts you right there. I mean, that would be good to do. I, I would be smart. I, yeah, I would say go for that. That sounds good. Yeah, and if you want to keep an eye on it, I'm going to be putting out daily and weekly updates for a while on this account. And I, I'll tell you what my biggest goal is, and this will be, we'll, we'll wrap it up with this, and, and you can kind of give me your thoughts here. But, you know, I've got the Star Wars dad account you were just looking at, and that's at like 4.1 mm -hmm. million GP. I've been playing for mm -hmm. 20 months. I do a monthly update on that account right now. Um, mm -hmm. I want to see by doing a hyperdrive bundle and buying 50 bucks of crystals a month and just just those two things how long it takes me to catch up to that free to play account like Ooh, you know will it be yeah. 28 months 20 you know and, and I'll kind of take that and subtract and figure out how many months did I actually save by mm -hmm. you know spending 50 bucks a month on this hyperdrive bundle Wow, and especially since now you know kind of what to do, and that's why I'm going to start a new account with my buddy Excellence. We're going to start a brand new account, and he'll he'll probably buy the Hyperdrive bundle. I don't have the money for it, <laughs> so we'll see. Like, I mean, that'd be great. You have a new account. We'll, we'll both all have new accounts. You know, I can do all these shows and check in on all three of us, but that would be cool. I would say definitely do that grind. Go for Executor. We'll keep an eye on your account and see how it does. And I, I would be, I'd really want to see that. You know, the fifty bucks every single month. You know that adds up. You know, that's that's a lot of crystals, and I think you'll catch up to that free-to-play account quickly. I mean, this hyper bright bundle alone—I've never seen one like day two. Just how much time that has already saved. Oh my gosh! Like I might have to scrounge up some bucks and buy this hyper drive bundle. <laughs> well, you figure it takes you four months to get to level eighty-five. So I mean, I, I've saved that time, but I, I've lost—I really have lost a little bit of time with mods. You know, I. I have. A, I need to start working on these mods right now, just upgrading them and stuff. Um, yeah. It's going to be really interesting entering Grand Arena with against new players. But you know the thing is, and the way Grand Arena is now, I could get up against some four million account, and when I'm one million and they're four million, if they decide to play, I lose. That's just how it is, you know. Exactly, man. Nooch, this has been great. I was telling you, all I do is just can you just read comments. I don't really talk to people like how, how we're doing. So just to hear someone else say things that, you know, I think about every single day 
it's been amazing. I can't wait till we have a little more shows in the future. It's been great talking to you. Yes, totally true. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's really good to connect with you, Darth Kimchi. And uh, everybody go check out his channel right now. I'll put a link in the description, but you can just look up Darth Kimchi. And uh, we'll start connecting on a re semi-regular basis here and talking and, and tracking each other's accounts and see what's going on. Maybe I'll do a Ross review of your account next time. Of course, and I'll deal with it. I'll put yours online, too. I'll, I'll Make sure you DM me, like, all your ally codes. So I can keep an eye on them, and I'll let you know when we excellent start our new accounts, and we'll, we'll all do like check-in shows. I, I can't wait to see where you go with your account, and I'll stay tuned on your site. I'll watch the shows as well. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. It's gonna be great. Sounds perfect, man. Well, we'll be talking soon, and for all my folks out there, thanks for joining in. Go check out Darth Kimchi's channel, and of course, always remember, <laughs> Nooch too good. Respect the grind, DK. <laughs> <laughs>